Yes, the reason why I am here is because 10, uh, 10 years ago, um, we cleaned up Estonia of 10,000 tons of trash. That is the amount of uh, the size of Olympia Hotel in Tallinn. If you haven't seen it, pay attention to it when you're leaving. That's 10,000 tons. And then we did not yet know how big the trash problem is in Estonia, uh, in the world, sorry. There is enough garbage in the world today lying in the nature to build the road to moon and back, probably even more. And the sad part to this is that it's a problem that can actually be solved with today's knowledge, technology, resources. But the good news is, of course, that it's something that actually can be solved with our help today. Yes, when in 2008 Estonia was cleaned of all its garbage in the nature, with the help of more than 50,000 people in five hours, we did not know yet it's going to give a start to a global movement that today is calling people around the world on one day, on the 15th of September, to clean trash in their countries. And yes, it all started with the help of many great people and also the GEN network. Anneli already told the story about how Nara heard this from the Estonians and took it to his country, found great people and started something that then, I don't know, how, is there any Latvians in the room? There's a few, okay. So you all know that neighbors always have something to say about the others, right? What do Latvians say about Estonians? They say we're slow. And the shortest joke in the world is that an Estonian is running. <laughs> Maybe. I might even have to agree this time with the Latvians because yes, it took us a little bit of time to learn that what we did in Estonia could actually move mountains in the world, literally. Mountains of trash. So yes, when Slovenia did a cleanup on, in 2010 with 13% of the population the first time, second time it was even more, and several other countries in the world by that time were, were also following and doing amazing actions, then the Estonians started to realize, hmm, there might be something here. And that's how it became the center, the focal point of a global movement. And that's in the start of my talk right now, and also in the start of this event that you're going to be enjoying these uh, next days. I'd like you all to embrace the fact that as a community, you are so strong, you are so vital, and there's so many great things that then grow out of the people that are here, but also when people work together. So when you hear these talks, please, Pay attention, listen, make a commitment at least with every talk that you hear or any heart-to-heart -heart chat that you have with people during these days. You're going to take along at least one thing that will make you do something. Actually do something. Because inspiration itself doesn't serve us. We actually need to put it into actions. So find that out. And I'll tell you more about the action that I'm calling you out to to take as we go along. So on the 15th of September this year, as the sun rises, the goal is that in 150 countries, people are going to go and clean. It's going to be a great green wave crossing the world and also celebrated amongst other places in, uh, on the Song Festival ground this year, where we are celebrating this event also as part of our 100th um, um, birthday uh, event. So you already heard the story about what Let's Do It is, that it's spread. Jen has a great deal of um, help with this. This has been a great, um, great achievement. I think you all deserve an applause right now because it really wouldn't have happened without you guys. But the name of my presentation was said, how to start a global movement. I don't know how many people here have a seed of an idea of a global movement in your mind. 
Raise your hands. There's a few, great. And then all the rest can help, good. So I believe that what I'm going to tell you about how the global movement, the World Cleanup Day has spread, is also something that you can adopt in your idea. What is the thing that you want to change? This is how you could possibly do this. We have a rule of three, not even a rule of thumb, but rule of three. There's three important values by following which you can achieve anything. I can say that because we have a movement of more than 20 million people in more than 100 countries who are already actively doing something about the trash situation in the world. So first one, cooperation. Now, the easiest task I could give you from the stage here is look next to you, to the person sitting next to you, and find 10 things that they are different from you. How they are different from you. Right? It's pretty, pretty simple. It's much harder to find that one common thing that you actually agree upon, that makes you the same. And that's where our movement has always, always, that's been an important rule. We are going to concentrate on what we can agree upon to get stuff done. And then we might be able to be on a more positive ground in order to solve other disagreements that we may have. Who here has littered, ever, thrown something on the ground? I can see some hands. Quite a few hands. Can you, who here can give me a reason why they've thrown trash on the ground? Great reason. <laughs> Um, so, anyone who's ever littered would, would know that you can always come up with an answer why you did it. Maybe it's not a good one, that doesn't matter. So, if I started accusing you of littering, you'd even find a better, better one, and you'd come up with another and another and another. There wasn't a trash bin nearby, whatever that reason might be. The key is, if we start accusing, the first reaction is defense. That's not the good grounds to start the collaboration for actually creating something new. So it's not very easy. This is just a small selection of partners I put here on this slide of with whom World Cleanup Day is collaborating with. It's everybody, absolutely everybody, because what we can agree upon is that trash should not be in the nature. It does not matter who put it there. We can be fighting over about who should pay for it, where it should be taken, how it should be treated. But as long as we're pickering about this fact, the trash is still in the nature. So that's number one. We collaborate in order to solve this one thing, and we believe that World Cleanup Day is a great means to do so. And after that, what we've seen in so many countries already where this action has been super successful is that now you've actually been able to do something together with the people that you never thought you'd ever be able to have a friendly conversation with. And then we can move on from there. Second value, positivity. What do you see on this picture? Who, everybody sees a screen, right? A turtle. A happy turtle, I think. What don't you see on this picture? Trash. Very correct. You're all very, doing very good. So problems in their nature are very simple things because you can see them. You can't experience actively cleanliness, but you can see trash. So it's easy to get stuck into the problems itself and lose track of what are the solutions that we're working towards. World Cleanup Day and the Let's Do It World move movement behind that has always been stressing the great values and the good results we want to create with what we do. A clean world. Because we hear so much, and of course people here in this room are for sure very aware about how much plastic there is in, the, in our nature, how much of it is going into our oceans, how many turtles are, being, uh, are feeding uh, from, from plastic, how many of, it, of them are dying of this. But as a single person, you start to feel very helpless very fast if you hear these stories all the time. But what if you knew that it's not every plastic bag that's, end up, that's ending up in the nature that kills a turtle? What if it's every thousand and first? 
Wouldn't you feel good about knowing that you were the one who picked up that one, that 1,001st plastic bag and saved a life? A person wants to know that you can actually do something, that actually your small deeds create the change. That a handful of trash that a bird might take, pick up as food that will also then probably kill their chicks actually could save the lives of so many. So you would like to know that it's better to have a handful of trash than a bird dead from it. We are in the age of creating new proverbs. So this could be what we want to, want to uh, promote. The positivity, the good message about what we can achieve and how your small contributions actually make a difference. Just like um, Urmas also said, your small action was one of the many, but those many small ones was were created one huge and now created something that inspired the world. And incredibly important when we talk about values, positivity, the good energy, share it, celebrate, have a party, have fun. Not only that have a party, but also talk about it. Share your good news with the, with the world. Even if it was just, I picked up a handful of trash today, because that's probably a handful more than any other person around you might have done. Share your good example. That's what the world counts on. And third, very, very important value, ambition to action. Um, like I said before, unless you do something, nothing changes. Pick a goal that is very important for you and then do your little bit in order to serve it. It can be huge, it can be small. It can also be just a commitment to share when you hear a good story because that can change the world. Nara is a great... Is Nara here, by the way? Nara, yes. Show yourself. This is Nara. <laughs> Thank you, Nara, because he's a great example of somebody who heard something inspiring and didn't just keep it inside him, but shared it with people back home. And what happened? More people got inspired and the great movement started. I'll give you three examples of what you can do. You can choose something else, but these are just examples. Inspire three, that's my commitment that I have taken. As I am now home with my baby, I can't do so much for World Cleanup Day, but I can do some. And that some that I'm doing is wherever I go, I invite at least three people to commit to go and clean on the 15th of September. Can I get a three hands here? All right, good. A whole week is now, you know, I can take it off. Take off the whole week. I'll, I have to make a video of this. So here again, who are the three people who are committing to go clean on the 15th of September? Wow, yay. If some of you could actually make a commitment that they invite three more people to go, even better. Because do you know how exponents work? It's pretty easy. Mathematically, world is already cleaned up. Or, if inspiring is not your thing, go and map it. There's a special app that you can download, World Cleanup. You can see there on the left side of the screens, there's a world map. We can actually say that wherever you come from, on smaller scale or bigger, there's a dump site there. So use the technology that's been handed to us by the century we're living in, and map the trash easiest thing in the world. Let's show where it is, because once we can see it, we can start dealing with it. If not on that World Cleanup Day, we can start dealing with it after and systematically. Data saves the world. So please, second option, map it. Third one, share, just like I said. There's also an opportunity to just go to Facebook, find an event, World Cleanup Day, mark going, and then click share. People know that you're going. That's incredibly important because we need to make ourselves seen, like I said. Share the good news. You're doing something great. That also counts for this event. Tell people that you're going here. 
We are not anyone, any more people who are living behind the trees, somebody hippie, cra some crazy tree huggers. Not at all. It's actually spreading. Totally normal people can be a part of movements that try to make the world a better place. As my good friend, head of knowledge team of Let's Do It Foundation, Enzo Favorino likes to bring out that when he works for zero waste, then people keep telling that zero waste is utopia. But what is utopia? You could say that it's a goal that's five steps ahead of you, and every time you move closer towards it, it moves five steps ahead. So why do you think it's even necessary if you can never reach it? Because it keeps you moving. And if you challenge the fact that you'll never get there, then the fact is that if this is the clean world, and this is whatever, I don't know what that is, dump site, then it's way better to stand here than more towards that side. So whether your idea is small or big, or your contribution can be small or big, always take the lead, take the action, step up. Because there's so few people in the world who are willing to. Or at least, if you are not the kind to step up, follow the ones who show the good example, because it's so needed. It's only 90% of the people in the world who think we're going to go towards where you know, the example leads us. And like I said, problems have such a simple nature of presenting them to us, while cleanliness is something that just is. So when you see trash on the ground, be the one who picks it up. Because there's 5% of the world who's working their asses off, many of them probably are people here in the room, to make good life possible. And there's only 5% of the world who's a pathological idiot, that's my diagnosis to them, who just will ever, never do the right thing, who will always do the opposite. But it doesn't mean that they ha their example should be um, followed. So. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope so much that you will join, like you said you will, on the World Cleanup Day. I have it on the video. I'll post it on social media. I swear I will. So um, thank you so much. Maybe we have time for questions. And uh, enjoy your days here in Estonia. Thank you, Kadi. It's uh, even uh, weird to ask some, uh, some question from you as we are, you know, in the, in the same organization. But um, let me ask, uh, is, uh, is uh, the world will be clean on 15th of September? For sure, it will be cleaner. And I am more than certain that on that day, more trash will be picked up than littered, which is already quite a big thing, I think. Ja, see on kindlasti, jah, aplausi väärt koht. Sa vasta inglise keeles, ma küsin eesti keeles. Aga ikkagi, Kadi, et kuidas tehnilises mõttes see päev välja näeb? How technical it's, it's uh, turn out the day? How technical it's organized? Well, very simple. I mean, it, my day will be different than millions of other people's days, but it's very simple. You wake up, you open your app, where you have already marked where you're going to be cleaning, potentially, or you're going to be receiving a phone call from your friend who's saying, hey, are you ready? You're going to put on your best clothes for cleaning, and you're going to go out um, to a nice spot where there is very much nasty stuff. You're going to be rolling up your sleeves, joining people who also are going to be digging into other people's shit, cleaning it up, feeling like a true hero, and thinking, who the hell thinks that this is a normal thing to do? And at the end of the day, saying, this was not normal. We cleaned it up. I don't want to do this again. So we better change something. And then you're going to go to a party. Either you organize it yourself, or somebody's throwing a badass party somewhere in your village or town and going to have such a great time, because you've been a real hero. Uh. Yeah? <laughs> Ma lugesin kiiresti üle, siin oli umbes selline 30 kät, kes lubas minna. Mm -hmm. Kui palju 15. septembril maailmas rahvas koristab kokku? 
how many people will be cleaning exactly on that day? Well, if my maths is correct, you can round it somewhere around 100 million. 100 million people. 100 million. 100 million in this country. If they're not, then it's I'm a... not to blame. I've done my part. <laughs> it's almost like a 100 Estonians. Yes, kind of. It's not very difficult. Like I told you, exponents work in a funny way, right? If I tell to three people to go and clean on the 15th of September, and each one of those three people say to three people to do the same, this process has to repeat only for 18 times in order to 378 million people to go out and clean. That's how simple it is. So, like, do your part. Don't forget to call three people to go out and clean. And a lot of question from my side. So, how do you reply for people who say that, uh, uh, but my, my home country, my home city, my, my home community is a clean. We don't have a trash. I haven't seen such. Um, if, they, if anyone cl claims that where I come from is totally clean, go down on a grassroots level, eh? like my baby is. You would not want to find stuff that he's putting in his mouth there. Seriously. No, there is no such place. A littering is different. We can talk. Ja täiesti viimane küsimus, et kuidas on nendes riikides, kus riigisüsteemid väga kontrollivad selle riikides toimitud? Kas Hiina lubab, Hiina valitsus lubab teile Hiina ära korrektus? Ma ei ole kõik 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 k